You're back, and this is Bus Tromp, home of fitness and entertainment. I'm Mandy. We're talking The Mandalorian, Episode 6, The Prisoner, Jailbreak. Guys, jailbreak. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz Chomp. Woo! Woo. The prisoner had this whole theme of jailbreak, which is really resonating in the theme of the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. Mando and Baby Yoda, I mean, they're really prisoners in this life that they're now existing in and constantly trying to break free of it, constantly trying to real break it. So that's why I really thought this episode was super interesting. I'm slightly a bit surprised. I've seen some mixed reviews on this episode and last episode. I like this show as like an adventure style show, right? We're seeing kind of standalone episodes and I do think they're progressing the story forward and the character forward. Like I think this episode we learned so much about Mando. We learned so much just by seeing his interactions with the people. We learned so much about learning being like, whoa, he associated with these people in his past and this was the type of jobs that he did potentially breaking people out that aren't good people all of that kind of stuff none of them were good people i definitely think mando is a good person so i think we learned so much about him in this episode this episode was about 42 minutes long so the longest of all the episodes but the pace and the style and all that remained the same and i loved it Bunch of cameos in this episode. Hello, Mark Boone Jr. He is Ran, and he's the guy that, like, brings Mando back in, and we meet and all that. You recognize him, even if you don't know the name. He was on Sons of Anarchy. I love them. I love this actor. He's not a good guy in the show at all. But honestly, guys, I loved him, and I love that they, like, brought him in. Then we got Bill Burr. Okay, Bill Burr always makes me laugh. Um, and he was just an asshole in this episode. And I loved it that they used him like that and he was this cameo. Then we're told throughout the whole episode that this prisoner ship that they're going to break this prisoner out of is manned only by George. So there's no humans on it. But of course, there was one human being. And I was, this is what I was the most excited for because I love him. Matt Lanter, if you watch Timeless, which was a fabulous and amazing show, he was on that. If you watch the reboot of 90210 years back, he was on that. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. He's like barely, he's only briefly in the episode, but I love that cameo, love that cameo. Mando has no choice but to trust people. And we see that this is the type of crowd that he used to run with, which is not a good crowd at all. These are the type of people that he has to trust. So of course he's going to get double crossed, of course. They're going to break out this prisoner. We never know who it is until they break him out. So they then throw him into the cell and lock him in. Well, of course Mando is not gonna stay a prisoner. He's already a prisoner, guys. He's already a prisoner in this life that he's chosen because he decided to help Baby Yoda. Leading up to it, you know something's gonna go wrong. I'm thinking he kills like all three of them, right? But we learn that no, and this is like something that we learn in a character development of him. Like, obviously he used to roll with this crowd, so we know he's killed people, right? He has no problem killing droids because he hates droids. He doesn't want to kill Matt Lanter's guy. He just locked them up on the ship. So now they're on an unmanned prisoner ship and they're in their own little prison cell, which I love that. I think that spoke volumes for who Mando is. No helmet coming off. They really wanted to take his helmet off. They really wanted to take his helmet off. This is a big thing, but now I'm thinking we're not going to get his helmet off because if so, then he's not a Mandalorian anymore. And that's like his identity. That is his identity and who he is. On our Boba Fett watcher, no one was following him. We didn't see who that person was that we saw at the end and we were teased at last episode. So, so far, I think we're right on my assumption that Boba Fett's coming, I think the last episode. We have two more episodes left. I'm super, super enjoying this. Really, this one I felt was embodying what Mando and Baby Yoda are like going through, that they're prisoners, that they have to, j they're constantly jailbreaking this life and constantly trying to get out of it. And each mission, each job, each, adventure they have to go on to get money to be able to live to be able to distance themselves just kind of 
keeps them there. Like they're breaking out little by little. I'm Mandy. Subscribe to Buzz Chunk for more of our fitness and entertainment and comment below. What are all your theories on The Mandalorian? Yeah, kids. Yeah. Thanks for watching Buzz Chunk. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. share.